Hi, I'm R.G. Absher with the OVTA, well, sorry, chapter of the OVTA, and we also have Gordon Myers uh, today, and we're going to do you some examples of colonial period music. Life on the frontier was not without fun and laughter and song and dance, but we didn't have the modern day instruments that you would see today, and you didn't have amplification, obviously, so you had to have musical instruments that were first around during that period, and, for, and secondly, something that was good and loud by itself. We have two instruments today that fit that bill. The first one is the 66 stringed hammered dulcimer, as it's called. And they did exist in the colonies during the colonial period in towns like Williamsburg or Philadelphia, maybe Savannah, Georgia, or the larger towns. Uh, the hammered dulcimer was used as a parlor instrument. And the fiddle well, it's quite a useful instrument. You could play it for barn dances. Sometimes the caller and the dance master was all, the fiddle player was all the same person. Because you didn't have large bands that you might have in, the, in Appalachia today with old time and bluegrass. Although the instruments were in becoming in. For instance, Thomas Jefferson documented that the banjo was used on the plantations of Tidewater, Virginia during the colonial period. Uh, the guitar hadn't really come along yet, but it was in development, and there were guitar-like instruments being developed based on the Middle Ages lute instrument that was around. So the guitar was on its way. But obviously electrified instruments were not around, so we're going to give you an example of an old Southern Appalachian tune that came out of the mountains, probably based on the Scotch and Irish theme of whiskey and whiskey rebellions. And the name of the tune is called, humorously, Whiskey Before Breakfast. So we'll play a little Whiskey Before Breakfast on the hammered dulcimer and the fiddle. Here it goes. do a tune called St. Anne's Reel and this tune was popular in Ireland Scotland in the 18th century it came across the ocean to America and the story about the tune St. Anne was thought to be the grandmother of Jesus so the song was many times sung around uh, celebrations around the holidays in the colonial frontier as a really neat tune it's lively and we've got some Folks are going to help us with the rhythm section out here, this, as you would back in the colonial days, too. But here we go with the St. Anne's Reel. Take it away, Gordon. Okay, back in the 18th century, we had a barn dance. The most popular kind of dance that we're going to do today uh, in demonstration is known as the Virginia Reel. And essentially, in the Virginia Reel, you had a line of ladies and a line of gents facing each other, facing your partner, and you go through a series of dance moves. Today, when we talk about dance, 
uh, the students that have had dance hear dance instructors say this all the time, five, six, seven, eight, if you've ever heard that. You don't realize it, but it's a fun way to do math. And you can, so you essentially count one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll call the name of the next step on seven and eight. Then I'll start to count over again. The first dance step that we're gonna learn is uh, ladies, uh, men walk in, men walk in. So men will walk in, take one step in and bow on this command. Men walk in, five, six, seven, men, and then go back to your position. And then uh, on five, and after five, six, I say, ladies walk in and curse it. So instead of bow, curse it. Okay, and then back to your position, try to get back by eight. And then the next dance command is raise your right hand. It's called right hand round. You go to your partner and connect with the, uh, connect your hands and spin one time and, and return to your original position. Okay, and return to your original position. Then we'll do left hand round, same thing, but you spin the other way. Left hand round. Now we'll swing your partner, make a chicken wing, and go meet your partner and swing with your right chicken wing first. Swing your partner. Now the command swing left, left chicken wing. Now we're gonna do the do -si do You cross your arms like this, and you approach your partner's right shoulder, and go stay facing in the same direction, go around them, and come back to your position. Make sure we don't have a traffic collision here. <laughs> okay, do -si do And that's the simple steps that we're going to do today with the uh, Virginia Reel. Let's just get ready. Left hand round. Swing your partner. Swing left. Do see do. Clap along. Dancers get ready. Man walk in. Men walk in. Ladies walk in. Right hand round. Left hand round. Swing your partner. The ball. One more time. Men walk in. Ladies walk in. Right hand round. Left hand round. Swing your partner. Do see do. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> For the students and teachers uh, listening to this uh, colonial dance experience, now try it yourself. Roll the tape back. First practice it. Have the teacher call the dance. 
and then practice through the dance yourselves in your classrooms. Thank you.